Hello everyone, this is Turnat John's Furniture Repair uh, here with a super special project that we're starting today and it is sent from one of my viewers and in the United States and it's this beautiful bowl that her grandfather carved a long time ago and uh, we're here to restore it and to add a missing handle, fix a crack, give it a beautiful finish and get it back into her home it's where she can love it and keep using it. So let me show you some details. All right, so I'm not really sure what kind of wood this is. Um, I forget if she, she mentioned what he carved it out of the tree. Um, but besides that, um, we've got a couple of issues with this beautiful bowl. And it's a nice big bowl too, if you can kind of see the scale of my hand. And it's a nice size and she uses it for mostly decoration. Uh, so we won't be doing a salad bowl uh, finish on this. We'll be doing a furniture finish. So we've got a crack here that needs a dressing. Um, we've got a broken piece that's popped out here. Um, so we'll just have to take this tape off and, and fix that. And then we've got a missing handle right here that's been missing for as long as she's known it. And then the finish is just um, in need of a cleanup. It's very dirty and uh, we just need to give it a good clean and reseal and maybe uh, remove some of the scratches and stuff like that. But uh, I don't want to remove too much of the character because this bowl is uh, beautiful because of those things and uh, we want to make sure we keep things intact. So yeah, I'm really excited to get going on this one. It's just a little project, but it has some details that we need to address. Uh, first thing, I was just trying to figure out, you know, what wood should I use for a handle? And I was just looking at these really interesting little swirls that come through here. And I remember I had an old piece of old stock maple that had the same kind of uh, curly swirl. And I don't think this is maple, but um, I think we're gonna use this piece just because it has a little bit of that going on and it's a good wood to use for um, this type of application. So what I'm gonna do is just trace um, onto this piece, or sorry, I already traced onto this piece um, by turning the bowl upside down here and I can see the mark on the old side here. So basically just um, made sure I had enough depth and cut a piece here. So I'm gonna go cut this on the bandsaw and uh, do some shaping. It has a little bit of a cutout on the bottom here in the old one. You can see so you can get your hand around and uh, hold it there. So that's nice. So I'll just go cut that on the bandsaw.
In the shop. I'm super lucky because I get to work with my gal Laura Becker today. And guess what? You guys voted and she is in the quarterfinals. And that's amazing after all of the voting and the, uh, the stuff that you guys were supporting her for and the video and everything that we did. We got her to the quarterfinals. So right now she's number seven and we need to get her to the semifinals. So I'm just doing a little quick vid with my good friend here as we work to remind you guys to get out and vote and get her back up to number one so we can get her to the semifinals. So I'll drop the link in the description. Vote, vote, vote away. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You are all beautiful, wonderful people and we appreciate you so much for getting this far and uh, we hope to get her to the next spot. So thanks for joining. Thank you. <laughs> See you soon. So we've got all of those things taken care of, smoothed off and sanded. Um, so you can see here, with a little bit of oil coming through. So I do think this is oiled and then shellacked over. Um, and I was just going to spray it with lacquer, but lacquer won't play nice with the oil finish underneath. So we'll do another shellac finish um, when we get this old one off because it is really dirty, especially on the inside here. But we'll take it off of here too and sand everything up. And uh, there's a pretty significant dent right here. A couple of little holes. And uh, we'll just not make it perfect. Like I like stuff like this. It's like part of the wood grain and stuff like that, but damage and things that happen to it, we'll take care of those. So uh, this finish, because it is shellacked over an oil finish, um, we don't really need to use stripper, so I'll just be using uh, denatured alcohol to wash down the shellac, if it is in fact shellac, I'll be able to tell. So I'm just going to get it all 
saturated here and then just start to kind of wash off the shellac finish. And you can tell, you know, it starts getting a little bit sticky. I can feel a little bit more resistance with my brush as the finish is getting softened up. And there won't be a lot of it on here. But you can even tell the color difference as I go across and remove that shellac layer there. and clean and ready for a sand. Might try to steam this up a little bit, but um, other than that, that's how I'm gonna clean this whole thing up.
here it is all finished up looking really good you can see a little bit more of that grain pattern with a few of the scratches cleaned up still lots of character there's our new handle and our repair down there so I did a shellac finish and I padded the second and third coat of finish with a French polish. I didn't French polish it, I just padded the lacquer on. And then after that was done, uh, buffed it out with the Howard's beeswax and just gave it a light scuff to dull up the finish to a little bit more of a satin. A little higher than a satin, but it'll continue to kind of go out. So there's our repair there to the break. I like that you can see it. I think it adds character. And I didn't bother uh, filling the crack all the way. It is still visible as something that's there. And uh, the repair on the bottom turned out really great and I just did a few color toners just to kind of make it go away so it doesn't really stand out on the bottom but yeah so this guy is going to go back on a journey home in a box back to his loving family. And uh, thanks you so much for joining me on this little repair. And it was a lot of fun to do something for one of my viewers, especially because it's a family heirloom. And if you enjoyed this video, you can buy me a coffee. The link is in the description below. And if you wanna check out more videos, Go to our channel we've got tons of stuff so thank you so much guys and have a great day cheers